As the aviation industry goes back to pre-pandemic levels, more passengers are demanding for pocket-friendly commercial aviation services. That's why we'll take a look at five of the best budget airlines globally as of 2024, starting with number five, Transavia France, the low-cost subsidiary of the Air France KLM Group. This airline has its bases at Paris Orly, Nantes, Lyon, Montpellier, Amsterdam, Rotterdam, Eindhoven, and Brussels. Transavia France has made a name for itself in the global budget airlines sector by offering a range of short and medium haul flights at market-friendly fares. It also has a network of over 120 destinations spread throughout France, Europe, and the Mediterranean basin. Being a budget airline, Transavia France does not spoil travelers with class choices as it only offers one, economy. If one wants more space in these flights, they can reserve an extra seat by contacting the airline's customer service. The airline's fleet mainly comprises Boeing 737-700 and Boeing 737-800 models, with a three-three seat configuration for a total of 149 and 189 passengers, respectively. This fleet has proven to be suitable to Trans Avia France's business model due to their impeccable suitability for short and medium haul flights. This enables the airlines to serve a wide range of destinations. Unlike many other budget airlines, Transavia France serves a menu of sandwiches, warm snacks, soft drinks, and juices. The airline also serves a range of alcoholic drinks and also accommodates diverse dietary restrictions. However, being a budget airline, you can expect the prices of these meals and drinks to be quite high. How about in-flight entertainment in Transavia France? Well, the airline does not offer in-seat entertainment, and neither do the aircraft in its fleet have those TV sets that swing out from above. The best bet for you would be to bring along a book or pre-download a few of your favorite shows to keep you entertained throughout the flight. The airline also has a loyalty program known as Flying Blue for its frequent flyers, although it shares it with KLM and Air France. With this program, Transavia France's frequent flyers can enjoy exclusive benefits as well as rewards and also earn miles whenever they fly with Air France KLM's partner airlines. It is then possible to redeem these miles for tickets, upgrades, and more. A quick review online also shows that Transavia France's crew are often hailed for their friendliness and professionalism that helps to create a pleasant flying experience for the passengers. Also, the flexible rebooking options, something that is rarely offered by budget airlines, adds onto the positive aspects that push Transavia into the top five best budget airlines in 2024. Boasting the title of the first low-cost airline in Saudi Arabia, Flynas comes in fourth in our list. It has its main operating base at Jeddah at King Abdulaziz International Airport. Commenting about this feat, the chief executive officer of Flynas said, Consolidating our position among the top four in the low-cost aviation sector worldwide is a success for Saudi Arabia. Flynas operates over 1,500 weekly flights to more than 70 domestic and international destinations. There are plans underway to expand the airline's network to 165 destinations. Currently, it has a fleet of 64 aircraft, of which 13 are A320 CEO, 47 are A320neo, and four are A330. It also signed an order to purchase 30 A320neo narrowbodies as part of an agreement to take ownership of 120 new Airbus, A320neo and a 321 Ninomo XLR jets. Despite being a budget airline, Flynas also has premium class travel available on international routes. Premium class flyers can access a number of goodies offered by Flynas including lounge access at selected airports where they can relax and unwind before their flight. They also get more generous luggage allowances. In addition to the standard cabin baggage allowance, the application of the whole baggage allowance of two bags of up to 20 kilograms means that these passengers can take everything they need for their journey. Unlike the regular economy class, Flynas's premium class seats have a pitch of up to 33 inches on the A320neos, seat recline of up to five inches, and more legroom. The airline also offers business class travel. Customers that have purchased this product are entitled to the airline's whole baggage allowance of two bags of up to 25 kilograms each, in addition to the standard cabin baggage allowance. 
The seats in this class also have an impressive pitch of 45 inches, and they also recline up to six inches on the A320. Flynas also allows travelers to pre-order their meals up to 12 hours before their flight. The menu contains a wide range of salads, snack meals, and hot dishes. Also, Flynas travelers can enjoy the code share agreement between the airline and Etihad, which has placed the airline's code in outbound flights from Abu Dhabi. This means that they can enjoy the greater connectivity that this agreement provides between the UAE, Saudi Arabia, and the rest of the world. At number three of the list, we have Volotea. Founded in 2011, Barcelona-based Volotea scoops the third position among the five best budget airlines in the world in 2024. Many have never heard of this airline, but somehow it has managed to carve out a specific niche for itself in the highly competitive, low-cost commercial aviation market. You see, Volotea has put much of its focus on serving the smaller cities that have been overlooked by the more prominent budget airlines. Currently, the airline has about 450 routes, with more than 50% of those being served exclusively by Volatea. In terms of travel classes, Volatea only offers economy class with two or three types of fares. There is the combo basic type, which is the lowest fare on board. With this type, travelers get a basic seat in the flex plan, which allows them to make unlimited changes or even cancel their flight up to four hours before their departure. Customers that pay the combo go can enjoy the flex plan and XL seat in priority boarding, allowing passengers to onboard faster. Also, passengers that pay the combo plus package have the privilege of an XL seat, priority boarding, and one check suitcase of up to 20 kilograms per individual at no additional cost. Volatea also has a menu that travelers can peruse and pre-order meals and drinks, including alcoholic drinks. The airline also allows travelers to take liquid foods in their hand baggage, provided they are stored in hermetically sealed individual containers of up to 100 milliliters. Solid foods are also allowed on board, but travelers are often advised to ascertain that their country of destination allows the entry of the foods they want to carry. This makes Volotea a darling of many travelers that would love to carry some food to their destinations. You will not expect to find in-flight entertainment systems in this budget airline. However, you can always use Volatia Media on your device using the Wi-Fi feature of your device to gain unlimited access to series and films, travel guides, music, games, newspapers and magazines, and videos for your little ones in case you are traveling with some. At the second place of the list, we have Scoot, the Singaporean budget airline, which is also a subsidiary of Singapore Airlines, comes in second among the five best budget airlines globally in 2024. Currently, this airline flies to 69 destinations across 15 countries and territories in Europe, Asia Pacific, and the Middle East. These destinations are served by a relatively young and modern fleet of both narrow and wide body airliners, specifically the Airbus A320s, Embraer E190E2, and the Boeing 787 Dreamliners. At the moment, Scoot has four fare types for its flights, although it is likely that you will see either Economy or Scoot Plus. Now, the basic Economy offers travelers a standard seat and 10 kilograms of cabin luggage. For the A320, this translates to a 28-inch pitch and 18-inch width. On the Dreamliner, it translates to a 31-inch pitch and 19.3-inch average width. On Scoot Plus, travelers can enjoy a seat with a 38-inch pitch and 22-inch width. Those aboard the business class product are allowed to carry 15 kilograms of cabin luggage and a check bag of up to 30 kilograms. Other additions that travelers in business class can enjoy include meals with an option of alcohol, priority check-in and boarding, Wi-Fi, and a charging port. Scoot also offers add-ons to the economy class. These add-ons include extra baggage, insurance, a seat in the quiet cabin known as Scoot in Silence, where one can enjoy more pitch than in ordinary economy, food and Wi-Fi, among others. Like the other airlines in this list, Scoot does not have an in-flight entertainment system on board its aircraft. However, passengers can pass time during their flight by using Scoot Hub, which is an in-flight portal that is accessible from mobile devices. Through this portal, travelers can play games and browse from a range of travel content, among others. Scoot Hub also has an interesting feature known as Gift a Greeting, 
which enables travelers to remain connected to their loved ones during the flight. As is the norm with budget airlines, Scoot also offers meals on board, but these have to be pre-purchased 72 hours prior to departure. Scoot Plus passengers have the privilege of complimentary meals. Also, travelers can pay for meals and beverage purchases on board with cash and Visa and MasterCard credit cards. And finally, at number one is the one and only AirAsia. For a decade and a half, AirAsia scoops the award of the best budget airline in the world. AirAsia was awarded the coveted prize at the Skytrax World Airline Awards 2024. This being a recognition of the airline's leadership in fostering connectivity and revitalizing tourism across the Southeast Asian region. This aspect was also reiterated by the airline's chief executive, Tan Sri Tony Fernandez, who was quoted saying that the airline is driven by the purpose of redefining air travel in the region by providing affordability, inclusivity, and accessibility, and being among the foremost in the region, championing connectivity and the revitalization of tourism. So what does this airline offer that makes it rank as the best among the best? First, it provides connectivity to 165 destinations in 25 countries globally, serving these destinations with a fleet of 103 aircraft. Also, the airline became the only airline to connect all 10 ASEAN countries after it announced the resumption of Kuala Lumpur Vientiane flights starting July 2024. This clearly showed its commitment to open up the region and be a leader in connecting people in this region to places. AirAsia has also gone out of its way to offer travelers a choice of seats based on the aircraft. In the A320, there are those known as the hot seats. These are located at the front of the plane and emergency exit rows. These seats come with a pitch of up to 29 inches, a width of 16 to 17 inches, and a legroom of 20.3 inches on the first and emergency exit rows. Then there are the standard seats. These have a pitch of 28 inches and a width of 16 to 17 inches. Those traveling in the A330 will have the choice of the hot seats with at least 17.5 inches of legroom, standard seats with a pitch of at least 30 inches and a width of at least 16 inches in the creme de la creme, that is the premium flatbed, which is seat with a 59 inch pitch in a width of 19 inches that converts to a full flatbed. Also, AirAsia in-flight meals are optional and not included in the ticket price, meaning that travelers can buy the meals either on board or online. Also, the airline has no in-flight entertainment. However, travelers can access free in-flight entertainment by connecting to the airline's Wi-Fi on their personal devices. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and until next time.